uh, talk to the emergency services to thank the police for what they're doing. And uh, you know, I pay tribute to, to their incredible response. They, they were on the scene uh, in four minutes. The, uh, the, the terrorist, the, the, the assailant was, uh, was tackled uh, within five minutes. Quite incredible response by the police. I also want to pay tribute again, as I think the whole country is, to the sheer bravery of those members of the public who went to, to deal with him uh, spontaneously, putting their own lives at risk. So I've been talking a bit about uh, the scene, what, what happened, uh, trying to understand uh, exactly uh, how this man came to be in Fishmonger's Hall. And, uh, you know, it's obviously it's early days and there's a, there's a lot of uh, an investigation that needs to be done. But it's clear to me that this guy was out He'd served half of his sentence. He was out on automatic early release. And I have long said that this system simply isn't working. It does not make sense for us as a society to be putting terrorist uh, people convicted of terrorist offences, of serious violent offences, out on early release. And we argue that people should serve the tariff, serve the term of which their sentence. That's, that's my immediate takeaway from this. And that's why we're committed to increasing the sentences for serious and violent offenders. And why I've argued uh, that uh, when people are sentenced to a, to a certain number of years in prison, they should serve every year of that sentence. The other thing I think very strongly looking at uh, what's going on here, I, I really hope that it can be business as usual, as fast as possible and obviously all the forensics have to be done and I thank the police for what they're doing and they're doing a fantastic job but I think people businesses around here want to get on uh, with their lives it's the it's the run-up to Christmas and uh, you can see people out on the streets shopping already and that's that's a great thing we, we say in the manifesto that we want to toughen up sentences for serious and violent offences and I've said for for a long time now that I think the the practice of automatic early release where you cut a sentence in half and let really serious violent offenders out early simply isn't working and I think you, you've had some very good evidence of how that isn't working, I'm afraid, with this case. Well, I can tell you that we've had a long conversation, we had a long uh, discussion already today about all those uh, cases, uh, and uh, the, a great deal of work is being done right now to make sure that the public is protected and everyone. I want to thank you know, the security services as well for the outstanding job that they do. And don't forget, just a crucial point, for every incident like this, terrible as it is, there are many, many that are thwarted. There are many uh, pr prospective terrorists who are intercepted and prevented by our fantastic police and fantastic security services. Thank you.